So we're starting a new video with a bit of progress on where we're at and what Mitch has been up to so far. So we've done another day on the Dream Build project. So another day done. Uh, it's been another busy day here. Myself and Mikey have been on the van, so we've got another day done. We've been drilling the holes for the rails today, for the cabal rails. Right, big day here, as Mikey, as, as Mikey just said. Um, transport update, dream build update, whatever we call it. Dream build update. Craig is still painting. So dream build update. Today I've been playing with the wiring. Today update today. So the underside had a petrol resistant racket and a 2K racket applied this morning. Build update. You've got me again. Mitch was far too popular. Um, it's had enough of the paparazzi, so you've got me. No, no. You guys need you're to good. back you're up. I can't the see the cars. Okay, back up, good. guys. You yeah. can't see the cars. Right, right, right. Hey, guys. Get the out of the way. I can't see. There are cars there, mother Get out of the way. They're stopped for you, dude. Now, I'm just about to disappear on holiday. In a couple of days, I'm off to holiday on holiday for 10 days. So I'm leaving this in Mitch and Mikey's capable hands to crack on with it and see how far they can get by the time we get back. But as with everything, it has to get a whole lot worse before it gets better. And we're definitely at that getting worse stage, aren't we? So tucked away in this unit here, or in this storage space, is the rest of the van. This is the, what's going to be the shell of the new vehicle. So if you can see it tucked away in a sorry state there, looking pretty miserable, it's exactly how we were, left it up before. This is the blue shell. This is the one that's got the hole cut in the top for the horizon roof. So this is going to be the finished shell that all the engine and all the other bits are going to go on. So underneath, it's a bit of a horror story, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um... So this is just one pile <laughs> of some of the rust. How many days have you spent on this now? I think this is day four of rust. So this is day four of grinding and trying to tidy up yes. underneath. And that's just one pile of like a half a day's worth, not yeah, including all the other stuff clear. full of it, it's sort of delivery, not emptying, so you want to see how heavy it gets. So loads of other stuff going on, here's a bunch of paint for doing the underneath of the engine bay, we'll talk about that as you start to come to do that. You've discovered quite a few bits of horror underneath there, aren't yeah, you, Russ? Yeah, holes in it. So uh, we, what, Mike's oh. already done one repair in this area here, in the jacking point, we had quite a few pinprick holes, so he's ground that back and welded that uh, last night. We've got a few more holes and a few areas that need welding and then we'll start welding for chassis modifications as an additional item. Can you show what's going on at the back there? They show the hole at the right. back first, yeah. And so we actually bought this one, if you saw the previous video, it came with no engine. I bought it as a shell. I think it did originally have a 2.5 in anyway. It just sat around for I don't know how many years, not being used. I should check the MOT certificate, but it's just corroded away. So the job now is to get this thing as good as it would be, as close as it would be, brand new, or even better than it was, brand new. Nice, yeah. Yeah. We'll do what we can. <laughs> do what we can. Uh, a few other horror stories, a few other things we've discovered. So around here, a little bit of filler. I think Mitch started finding a little area here, didn't you? And then the yeah. more you sanded, the more you discovered filler, and then it turned out to be that. So that's obviously going to have a new rear quarter panel. Mikey's just got one of those on order. So anything like that, instead of messing around and trying to fill it up and fill it with gob and going again, we'll put a brand new panel on. Unfortunately, we can't take that panel from the other van because that's a long wheelbase and this is a short wheelbase. So we've got a brand new on order. Mikey's just uh, found a new tool that he wants to buy because we found where the sill's been damaged over here. Like something hit, hit the side of the sill and dented it in. You can get the tool, I don't know what it's called, but it's basically like a key that you weld into uh, the sill in multiple areas and it's now a puller. So we've got one of those on order, we'll get some footage of us using that, pulling that dent out and get it as close as we can before it goes to the shop. So various of the bits knocking around that are going to go off the powder coat as well, we'll try and document a bit of that as it goes along. Um, but yeah, it's all go. A bunch of parts have arrived from Forged, had all the hoses and stuff, the intercooler's has not arrived but that's yeah, on its way right. from Forged. Um, I've been talking with PP Tuning, they're going to be supplying us with an exhaust for it, we'll cover all that um, as it comes up, but anyway, we'll just leave you a load of footage now, these guys are working on it, some time-lapse footage, and we'll catch up with you when I get back off holiday and see how bad or how good it looks.
Okay, so we've got the underside now painted. We've always been hard at work on that. So just have a quick look around, show you the level we've gone to. See bare shell, there's a brush repair in various areas, rear corner, shock mount, something at the front as well. And then the sill was damaged as well. So yeah, a lot of work to get us to this stage. Next step is going to be start bolting some bits on and um, we'll start to see it go back together. Mm -hmm. 